Maddie here from Just Me Pretty. We're turning into an 80s diva today. <laughs> I'm totally kidding, but I'm not. You guys, I've had so much fun filming this tutorial for you. We've got some awesome crimp going on, lots of volume, and then check out this drugstore colorful makeup look. A big huge thank you to Kroger for sponsoring it. Don't forget to subscribe down below. You can click that little bell button and it will also notify you of future videos so that you don't miss out on anything. So go do that and then let's jump in to this tutorial. We're gonna start with my favorite primer. This is the Revlon Ready Perfecting Primer and you're just gonna blend it in with your fingers all over your face and this is gonna make your foundation go on smoother. It'll also help your makeup stay on longer. I honestly never skip my primer. It does so much for the skin. Then we're moving on to foundation. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Shade 203. I'm obsessed with this foundation. So it's full coverage and it just evens out my skin tone really well. It covers blemishes and just blends so nicely into the skin. I like to use a dense domed brush and just kind of buff it into the skin, but a beauty blender works great too. On to brows. I've been loving this CoverGirl Ultra Fine Brow Pencil. You can get really realistic strokes with it, so it just does a great job filling in the brows. And just so you guys know, I purchased all of these products at Smith's. You can find them all at your local Kroger family of stores. And then yeah, I'm just gonna finish filling in these brows. Next up is the Maybelline Master Contour by Face Studio. So it's a V-shaped contour and highlight stick and the colors, they're perfect. <laughs> so I'm just contouring right under my cheekbones, my forehead, and then sides of my nose. And then I'm just flipping it around and putting a little bit of highlight under my eyes, above my brows, and on the center of my forehead. So for the highlight, I'm just blending it in with a soft brush and then blending in the contour with a dense angled brush. Because we're done using creams, we're gonna set it all with the Revlon Photo Ready Translucent Finisher. So I'm just using Revlon's powder brush and gently blending it into the skin. Next up, we've got Wet n Wild Color Icon Fantastic Plastic Pink. I love this color because it's bright pink and it has glitter and sparkles in it. And then I'm just using the Revlon Blush Brush to blend it all over. I'm being a little bit aggressive with this color because it's the 80s and I want something that's super colorful and just fun. Then I've got the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder. This is Golden Flower Crown. And I'm taking the blush brush again and just highlighting like crazy right above my cheekbones, kind of anywhere I want a little extra shimmer, so my nose and right above my cupid's bow. Onto the eyes. This is Maybelline's Master Prime. It's just a great eyeshadow base and because we're using really bright colors today, I want to make sure that they all pop. Insert NYX's Brights palette, and we're gonna be doing this gorgeous eye. So we'll be digging into the orange first using a dense eyeshadow brush. This is Revlon's All Over Shadow Brush. You just wanna make sure that it's a brush that will pack color on well. So we're gonna pack on the orange and sweep it to about the middle of our eye. Then clean off your brush and we're gonna pick up the hot pink color and sweep it from the middle to the outer corner of our eye. You can see I'm using this angle as a guide, so you're gonna basically end it where you would draw winged liner. And then we just wanna make sure that this color is really bright and bold, so pack on as much as you need. Then I'm taking L'Oreal Infallible Longwear Eye Pencil. This is the cobalt blue color, and we're just gonna draw a line below our lower lashes. Then I'm picking up some of this blue color and I'm gonna be using the Smoky Eye Pencil. It's just a smudging brush. Picking up some of that blue color and tapping it underneath the lower lashes and this is gonna brighten up that color and give it that bright, crazy 80s color that we're looking for. I've just cleaned off the brush and then I'm dipping it into the highlighter and we're gonna put it right by the tear duct and then underneath the eyebrow. Next up, we've got our lashes. So this is Maybelline's Pumped Up Colossal Volume Express Mascara, and it is amazing. So we're gonna throw it on our lashes, and then while they're wet, I like to take a lash curler and push up on the lashes, careful not to let them touch your eyelid, but this will just kinda oomph them up a little bit more while they're drying. And then depending on how thick you want your mascara, you can double up and do it again. 
get those lower lashes and I dare you not to make that face. And then we're gonna use NYX's Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk and we're just gonna line the waterline. And that, my friends, finishes our eyes. Finally, onto the lips. This is Revlon's Ultra HD Matte Lip Color in Obsession. It's just a bright pink. I love this product so much though. It goes on matte, but it's still hydrating and doesn't dry out the lips at all. I don't feel like I need gloss a few hours after wearing it. It's just, it's the best and it wears so well. So here is our 80s diva makeup. What do you guys think about it? We're moving on to the hair. And don't worry, scrunchy, you'll be back. I'm just taking a crimper, spraying some heat protectant onto the hair, and then crimping it layer by layer. When it's all been crimped, spray it really well with some hairspray, and then I'm pushing my fingers into the ends and pushing up on the hair to tease it a bit and give it some extra messy volume. Hairstyle number one is just adding a really hideous headband. That's so awesome. So this is gonna be look number one. Again, with the hair, just get as much volume as you can. So what do you guys think? Here are some glamour shots of my 80s diva. Bam, the costume goes on and there she is in all her voluminous and colorful glory. I told you that scrunchie was coming back and for hairstyle number two, I've just thrown half of it up into a really high half pony. And for hairstyle number three, we're doing this. <laughs> we've gotta do the side high pony. I mean, this is a classic 80s look. That's it. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like what I did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And then I want to know in the comments below, what are you going to be for Halloween? And are there any tutorials you would like me to film for you? All right. I think that's it. I love you guys so much and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Oh, I want to dance with somebody. I want to feel the heat with somebody. Yeah, I want to dance with somebody. With somebody who loves